I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, James. Hello, James. Hello. 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 What a shock. Ah, James, I thought we were on a break. <laughs> oh. um, I just couldn't stay away. <laughs> Today's theme is pretentious ingredients, which means I've taken the liberty of acquiring all of James's favourite pretentious ingredients over the last few years and combined them into this very episode. You're welcome, James. James, you must decide the cooking order and each of you must choose one pretentious ingredient to use during your turn. Otherwise, you will fail the challenge. I have to use five pretentious and, and ingredients. And the, the dish could be anything. Open briefs are so dangerous for us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to give us the best chance. Oh, so we'll start with the ideas, man. Okay. Mr. Pretentious. Mr. Pretentious. <laughs> okay. I still can't tell whether you're being sarcastic, <laughs> but they're not always good ideas. So we'll go with Ben's second, <laughs> <laughs> so we can fix it. It doesn't matter where you put Jamie, so we'll put Jamie <laughs> in the middle. What the does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> then Mike, then me. Oh, we're getting oh. an ending. Oh. I, I love an ending. All right. Excellent. Okay. Okay, for once, pass it on, and I'm in my comfort zone. Pretentious. Here's my thinking. I like the idea of taking a relatively humble recipe and making it pretentious. We're gonna go for spaghetti carbonara with escargot. Having James back should be an advantage because he's a chef, but also he's a closer personal friend and he knows that, well, he likes to watch us suffer. So who knows what he's gonna do today. Also, this is the last pass it on we're doing before going live, so I'm treating this like a warm up. Let's get a feel for it again because on the day itself, it's carnage. Right, I want those onions to soften, the bacon to go crispy, and then some escargot. Now, I'm not sure what to expect from this. Oh, oh, there's no shells. Snails is there as a potential ingredient. It's used a lot in kind of pretentious dishes, but as the ingredient itself, you can't get any more of the earth than a snail. Baking, garlic, onion, classic base. With the uh, snails in there, you've got a base of really good carbonara. What I like the idea is like, this would go really well with truffle. And you know what? You could put some of the Iberico pork in this as well. Crap, I've burnt that bit. Right, let's go with some of these snails. These are already cooked. So I'm just warming these through. That I've committed on my pretentious ingredient. Snail, bacony, goodness. Last minute, okay, I've only got a minute left. Let's just leave some hints of what I want to happen next. Eggs going in here. And I think that should scream carbonara. I'm actually really confident with that start. I don't think I did anything wrong. So I see no reason why I couldn't give myself a 10. Evans! He's gone straight in for that tin of snails and some bacon, good combo, pasta water boiling. This is good. Egg, nice idea, I've got an idea. Got to incorporate what he's already got. Screams out to me, French with the snails or possibly Spanish. Obviously used a lot in like on the top of paella with rabbit and things like that. We haven't got any rabbit, but with the flavor so far and the boiling water and the egg, I've got an idea. I've picked up a relatively easy ingredient to incorporate, and that's the classic potato tortilla. Typically, you would fry these slowly in lots of olive oil and then add the egg to cook around it. But if I season the egg with our pretentious truffle, and because we're in a bit of a rush, I am going to cheat with the boiling water that Barry's already got just to blanch these. Is it too obvious to do snail porridge? We actually cooked a snail porridge not too long ago, which means the normal sh should have an idea what's going on. A savoury infused milk, porridge oats, and then all of this can go on the top. A little bit of that, a little bit of snail porridge. So I'm adding in this wonderful truffle paste into the egg mix to flavour it. And if I remember correctly, it is quite salty already. It's lovely to have James back. 
Christmas time, it's like the extended family and the confidence to know that we've got extra safety in whatever we prepare, because he'll know what's going on. Potato becomes our wonderful starch there, not pasta. Okay, three minutes left. I'm infusing some milk for the porridge. And that's our topping. They'll get that, snail porridge. What lovely ingredient could they use next? A little bit of roasted broccoli as a nice, like, picky tapas item. The kale will go wonderfully with that. A little bit of salt and pepper. So hopefully, that helps. Now's the time to get the egg in, and in my last few seconds it goes in. Going to give myself pretty much the same as I always do, 7.5. Jamie! Right. Ooh. Oh, we've got snails. Summer truffle pate has been used somewhere as well. This is Ebers leading me down his garden path to his allotment to use Cavallanero pesto with the broccoli. That feels quite safe. I just, I'm not a very safe person. I feel like I'm a little bit more dangerous. I feel like we have to use one pretentious ingredient each, and I don't think that this is the one that I want to use. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna get the broccoli into the oven. We can roast it off, but then I'm gonna wrap it in the Iberico ham. There's porridge oats there. Is that to tell me that the porridge oats need to go into here? Um, and then there's potatoes. I haven't done anything in five and a half minutes. I've put some broccoli in the oven. Life is about choices. And I feel like my choice is going to be to strain off this milk. That's been, I've done that completely the wrong way around and into a dirty, raw, eggy bowl. So, oh well, now we've basically, uh, we've come this far, haven't we? This has probably now just got to go straight into here. Oh yeah, that can reduce into mm, something. Do we need some um, porridge oats in there as well? Why would they be there if they weren't supposed to be in there? This is a clue from Ebers. This is a clue from Ebers. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Snail porridge. We're making snail porridge. I've just realized what we're making. Get all of them in there, boys. Come on, yeah. Oh yeah, now I know where we're going. Right, cool, okay. This is a plan. Oh, look at that. That is a turnaround for the book. This is what great Oscar winning films are made of. I haven't used my pretentious ingredient. That's a problem. Right, let's get this out. That's not long enough to cook, but that's okay. Mm, these aren't slices. <laughs> right, I've got, to, I've, got, I've got to use them though. So here we go, Iberico ham wrapped broccoli. <laughs> this could be make or break. So it's, it's a 5.73. Mike! Okay. Yeah, here we go. What have we got? You know we're in for a show when this music starts. Like, what is this? Like, patatas bravas? Oh, man, it's smoking, that's for sure. Some mushroomy, oaty thing. Oh, no, they are not mushrooms, are they? <laughs> they are snails. Okay, cool. Snail porridge. Right, think about this. We're doing, like, small tapasy things. Camembert. Camembert and honey. It's not very, it, it's, it's French. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't, I, I, I'm just bringing stuff. I'm really, guys, I'm really, really not sure what I'm doing here. I don't want to ruin anything, but like we're going to have a little bowl of snail porridge. What could go with that? Let's start some stuff, Mike, for goodness sake. Five minutes in and he says, let's start some stuff. Right, I'm just going to fry off some of this because we could do something with like shards of this um, at the end. I really want to use this honey and I, I know honey and cheese goes together. So um, <laughs> I'm really out of my comfort zone. And it's really annoying because I was going to use this as almost a dress rehearsal for Pass It On Live. I'm not doing anything that I know how to do right now except put some bacon in a pan. Do you know, I'm gonna get this under the grill. Oh my goodness, I've done nothing. Whoa, is this gonna stick? Yes, probably. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, am I grilling honeycomb? Yes, I am. I'm really hoping James's chefiness kicks in and he's gonna rescue me. I think that porridge is pretty much done. Oh, I'm really, oh, this is terrible. Do you know what? I'm taking this out. 
Does that go back in? It's going back in. Oh dear. That was horrendous. And that does not bode well going into a live version of this. I'm not sure I can rank myself higher than a, a one and a half. James! Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, oh, blimey. Ah, oh, that's what was burning. There's cheese all over the oven. So that is not the baking tray that you put camembert on. Right, okay. I have to use a pretentious ingredient, don't I? I've got two options. Rose gold shimmer, and I've got salt. I don't know which one I should use. What are these? Honey? This is snail risotto. That's just, that's just random fried bacon. That's going in here. Why is there a camembert? Why is, why is there an omelette? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm gonna go rogue. I'm gonna scrape the cheese into this. It's gonna make it really rich and creamy. Oh, that's good. I need a plate, I need a plate. This is looking good. I'm just gonna keep adding water. Broccoli looks okay. I'm gonna cut it up so it's like more, a bit more like a garnishy type thing. Bacon, oh. It was a nice idea, but it's not really wrapped, so I'm just gonna put it all in there, and I think it's gonna make it delicious. Okay, this is looking good. I'm happy with the cheese. I think it goes like bacon, honey, cheese is great. Truffle, I couldn't really taste, so I'm gonna go for a little bit more. Oh, I just revealed someone's uh, someone's slight error. That was, that was on high, wasn't it? Hmm, I wonder who did that. I might have to sack this omelette off, and I, I, I hate to do it. But I don't, know where, I don't know where to put it. Where do I put that? I've gone parsley, just a little bit of freshness. All that cheese and honey and bacon, very rich. I'm gonna go with like little dollops of honeycomb. I think that'll be nice, and it looks good. Just ingredient, a little bit of salt. Oh. Uh, uh. I tried the salt, it kind of worked. I wasn't sure about it, so I went for the rose gold shimmer as well. I think I did okay. I think I'm gonna give myself a really average seven. So you didn't go easy on me? <laughs> no. Didn't we? I don't think so. No, I did not. Go on. Lift the cloth, James. <gasps> what? I, I mean, yes! Wow, the state that I left the kitchen, that is a miracle. He loves that shimmer. <laughs> it's it's shimmer. Is that the supposed shimmer? to put it in Prosecco, but you just put shimmer? it on top. <laughs> Listen guys, I had to do something. <laughs> I walked in and I thought, let's do a humble recipe with a potential twist. Carbonara. And I, I started with a base of onion, garlic, bacon and snail. Some of those things go into a carbonara. I then... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I walked in, saw the snails and the bacon and thought, if we make snail porridge, we've all been there before, we've all tried it. What? Now it's let's see if the normals him. can make it. And I tried to push in a tapas direction, so made a truffle tortilla using your eggs, I thought that was your huge. boiling water. Oh. That's why I couldn't taste any truffle. I came in and I saw the broccoli laid out on a tray with a jar of pesto in the middle of the tray and I thought, Ebers, I'm not having this. <laughs> <laughs> this you isn't are a not fight. leading me down your garden path. Team communication. So I put that back. Yes. I put the broccoli into the oven and then I got the pretentious Iberico ham. Mm. I, th I too thought small plates. So I had a meltdown and in that meltdown, I melted some honeycomb and I put a camembert under the grill. The 
camembert was dripping on the oven because the tray it was on was convex and had no sides. <laughs> oh. So you just put the entire camembert on it, just on its own on a tray. No, I grabbed a I grabbed a flat tray because it was the only trays that were in there, and I was. But not like poor. in paper or in the pot it comes in. Nah, just just on it, <laughs> under the grill. The um, tortilla. Took it out, turned it out. It was black. Um, having said that, I'm not entirely sure where I'd, where I'd have put it. The truffle was in the tortilla, but I tasted that and thought, I can't taste any truffle. So I put more truffle in it. Oh, you good so, say. So it has all the ingredients. Should we taste it? Let's taste it. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, it's got a funk in it. Cheers. 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 Oh, wow. That tastes remarkably Christmassy. Considering I don't think there's a single right. Christmas ingredient in there. The snail texture is not bad. With an overwhelming taste of honey. The reason the, reason the honey works is because it's on porridge. Like, that, like, <laughs> that, that, that's why I always have it. It, feel, it feels really natural. It's honey on porridge. So, let's get to it. Barry, what'd you rate yourself? 10. <laughs> would you? Would... I rated myself 10 because I, I <laughs> used a potential ingredient and I felt like I made a fantastic, nothing, nothing, a strong and changes. positive start with a, with a delicious base. Surely if there's nothing wrong, it's a five. <laughs> <laughs> One of the tastiest things we've made on Pass It On. <laughs> yeah. right, so it's a pass. As usual, nice middle ground. I gave myself 7.5. It's not what I had in mind, but it uses similar flavours and ingredients and I think it's quite tasty. It's really tasty. Pass. When it came to my score, it could have gone either way because by doing what I did, it would either have made the dish or ruined it. But I gave myself a 5.72 because I wasn't aware at the time. I think that's a pass. I gave myself a 1.5. Oh, no. Whoa! Oh. I melted some stuff no. and ruined an oven. It went in there. <laughs> I would actually, in hindsight, move that up to a 3.5, but <laughs> give or donate two of my points to you for creating that with the mess that I left you. Thank you, sir. And for me, it tastes delicious. It's a pass. I rate myself a seven. You get a nine, nine. now. I wish I'd rate myself <laughs> higher, because then I'd be the only person in history to score above a 10. <laughs> <laughs> pass it on. But I was pretty happy with what we came up with. It's a pass. I think it's really tasty. Yes! It's a full yeah. sweep! Considering the brief, it's bad. It's remarkable we got there. <laughs> well, that was fun. First time in a while. Yeah, mate. Over Good to you back. guys. Was it a pass or a fail? Comment below. And if you'd like to see all of this chaos unfold live in real time, then you have to come to our Pass On live shows. Thursday, 16th of December. Tickets are available now. All the links are downstairs. Time is running out. That is next week. Time's running oh, out to be no. good at cooking. <laughs> we can do it. Proof we can do it. I'm busy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no. Check with that thing. <laughs> This is a message for Ben, Ebers, Ebril. I am not who you think I am. This is me, and I will use the Iberico ham. <laughs>